My name is Samantha Torres, completing an assignment set forth by Dr. Moore for course number LS5333, School Library Media Center. The library chosen is Blue Valley High School of Overland Park, Kansas. Question 1. Meeting the needs of the stakeholders. Based on Blue Valley High School's library website, the librarian meets the needs of the principal by demonstrating how the facility plays a vital role in the integration of the curriculum and teaching for student success. Meeting Standard 1, Principal 1, page 8. According to Church is the principal factor, page 41, a principal wants to see a proactive librarian collaborating with the teachers and providing quality resources while adhering to the state curriculum standards. Under the tab mark class projects, the stakeholder may see that not only is the librarian and content area teacher collaborating to make relevant assignments, but notice that the librarian has expanded the student's classroom to the library. The web page provides several units of a particular content, as well as learning targets, and relevant resources to acquire more information. The librarian also meets the needs of the classroom and specialized teachers by providing applicable resources to all grade levels and content areas adhering to Standard 3, Principle 3, page 19. In today's classrooms, integration of the technology has become a requirement of teachers to instruct, create, and implement to suit the needs of the 21st century learner. Therefore, as stated in Harvey's article, the teachers take on the school library program, educators look for the latest print and technology to support and complement the curriculum throughout the school. Under technology, classroom and specialist teachers are able to save time and research and researching the latest Web 2.0 tools, thus resulting from more time focusing on the content of the assignment. Such tools include video creation as Animoto, storytelling as Haiku, blogging such as Weebly, and note-taking as Evernote. The library also reaches out to meet the needs of the students by enriching the creative process of reading, writing, and understanding while adhering to Standard 1, Principle 2, page 6. Found within the home page, the students are given an opportunity to meet and collaborate with an author that has been featured in the library, thus fostering and supporting the enjoyment of reading through various forms of expression. In promoting a writing seminar, the librarian is making a positive correlation with the creating process by making it accessible and real to the students. The webpage also provides a link with new books added to the collection with ratings, tags, and reviews to encourage learners to read for enjoyment. Standard 3, Principle 1, page 16. Students are even able allowed to download an ebook on their own personal reading device. By providing school library resources, accesses to databases, and collection beyond the instructional day, the library also meets the needs of the parents. Standard 5, Principle 2, page 26. Such resources under database and online resources allow parents to support the students learning as stated by Harvey in the teacher's take on the school library program, page 46. Parents are able to assist the child in researching and acquiring the information needed because the library allows open access to all databases listed. This allows the parents to view the library as a vital role in their child's success in the education and personal growth. Johnson, Head for the Edge, The Power of Parents, page 98. When the library welcomes community members to see what actually goes on in the library, it demonstrates various accomplishments of the school. Johnson, Head for the Edge, The Power of Parents, page 98. By communicating to those beyond the academic walls through Twitter, gives the stakeholder an insight and understanding of the library's role to all student success. Standard 5, Principle 4, page 28. The school librarian is able to communicate with leaders beyond the building who share the interest in learning and technologies. AASL's Empowering Learners, page 82. The stakeholders are able to see what students have created, what teachers are instructing, new technology being integrated, and above all, the recognition of enjoyment through learning. Question two, the five roles of a school librarian. One, a leader creates an effective school library program and advocates for student learning by successfully combining all five roles of the library. AASL's Empowering Learners, page 26. The librarians at Blue Valley High School were awarded the National School Library Program of the Year in 2015 by American Association of School Librarians. The award was guided by Empowering Learners Guidelines for School Library Programs. 
Through the advocation and collaboration of the librarians and stakeholders, such resulted in creating a successful 21st century learning environment, which built upon the skills for the students, staff, parents, and community. Page 26. In AASL's Empowering Learners, page 27, an instructional partner integrates the academic standards while enhancing critical thinking, technology, information literacy, and core social skills and lessons. One of the primary focuses of the Blue Valley High School Library Program is a collaboration and communication of teachers and librarians to develop relevant assignments. For example, this assignment provides virtual communication, implementation of a Web 2.0 tool, and 24-7 learning environment. An informational specialist's vital role is to demonstrate an, an expertise in ethical use of information and must be versed in practical application based on AASL's Empowering Learners, page 28. In the section, Formatting and Citations, the librarian is reaching out to the student and educators on various forms of citations along with examples, tutorials, links, and open access to the library services. A teacher at the library builds a collection around both the national trends of the popular reading materials and student interests within the individual school community. AASL's Empowering Learners, page 30. As such, Blue Valley High School conducts student book reviews or recommendations for the library to build a collection in which reflects the needs of the learners. In establishing an AASL committee, Committee's Learning Commons, the program administrator augments information resources to the community, demonstrates successful collaboration of stakeholders, along with effective management of the library's policy and budget. AASL Empowering Learners, page 31. Question 3. One area of strength the Blue Valley High School has is a collaborative partnership between the educators and the librarian. A four-tier continuum of collaboration provides various levels of connection, communication, cooperation, coordination, and joint teaching, planning, and assessment. In doing so, the school library program develops a long-term plan for professional development to increase student achievement as set forth by AASL's Empowering Learners, page 75. Another strength the library demonstrates is having a strong reading program, which encourages the love of reading through coordinating author visits and implementing Make Your Spaces, or Idea Labs. In Gustafson's Meeting Needs, Make Your Spaces in School Libraries, page 36, the students are encouraged to use higher level thinking, exploration, inquiry-based learning, and active engagement to prepare them for college and career. As stated by Johnson in Head for the Edge, The Power of Parents, parents are the education system's true consumers, and we must cultivate an active relationship. The overall website does well advocating for the facility by allowing open access to the databases, online app collection, and resources. However, perhaps adding a short video or a variety of pictures using a Web 2.0 listed can reach out to all parents, students, administration, and community members. <laughs>